All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are live. Uh, yeah, so I wanted to show you guys the Dragon Quest 1 event in Dragon Quest 10, as well as show you guys how to do it. So, if you're playing the game, um, you can be any level to do this. You don't have to be, like, super high level or anything. It's gonna bring you to, I believe, level 30 for everyone, because that's the level cap in Dragon Quest 1 once you actually do the event. Uh, you just have to be far enough into the story... Uh, so that you can get to North Port L or Port Lendor, which basically, as soon as you have train access, so once you've got your first key emblem, you'll have uh, access to the train, and you just want to go to Port Lendor. Uh, it's where the fishing dailies and stuff are, and stuff like that. There's a bunch of different like guilds and stuff here, but what you want to do, you want to go to North Port Lendor, and you want to come over here to this guy. So. In order, if, if you've never done a, a maze before, you want to talk to Rondé here. And uh, he'll hook you up with the whole how to use the magic maze and all that. And what these are, these are basically kind of like the closest thing to like the grottos, I guess, from Dragon Quest IX. So here you can see I logged in as my new dwarf character. So I can show you guys what happens when you find Princess Gwalen. You approach her in the magic maze. She's usually on the last floor before the boss. You can talk to her. She tells you that uh, she came to this world with the help of Rubus. And she needs your help in order to defeat the Dragon Lord. So she gives you the Rainbow Drop, which you can use to warp directly to the Dragon Lord's Castle or Charlock Castle. Now, I do need to warn you guys, you do need to have the full version of Dragon Quest X in order to do this event, unfortunately. But it is a fantastic event. If you aren't able to do it, stay tuned and you can see what the event is all about when I go to Charlock Castle and face the Dragon Lord. You want to go into your key items, use the Rainbow Drop... And if you're going by yourself, you want to go with special guests. And this is this is uh, still one of the harder ways to do it. It's much easier playing with other players, but because I want to kind of show you guys some stuff, and I don't want to like I don't want other players to have to deal with me fucking around. Uh, I kind of just wanted to go this way. Plus, I wanted to show you guys. So, in my party, I've got myself, of course, with the torch, which you need in Dragon Quest One in order to go into like dark dark uh, caverns and stuff in order to see but then we've got uh, Kira Toriyama over here and we've got uh, we've got Yuji Hori with the sunglasses on and then we've got Koichi Sugiyama in our party for the Dragon Quest 1 event so that's pretty cool but yeah you take your torch of course and then you can go to the throne just like you would in the original, I feel wind behind the throne. And then, just like in the original Dragon Quest, you go behind the throne. And there's a secret in the floor. That leads to the staircase, which leads to the dungeon in Charlock Castle. Now, what they've done here is they put the green dragon from the green dragon's cave, which would be like the... Uh, I guess mid-boss of Dragon Quest 1. They put him in the, uh, in Charlock, in the Dragon, in Dragon Lord's castle, so. He's an optional fight, you don't have to fight him. Why is there a tiny coffin following you? So that's kind of a joke. When I, uh, when I streamed Dragon Quest, uh, 9 with my buddy Fates, Fates was always dying. And Fates doesn't have, uh, he doesn't have like an alternate laptop or uh, great internet to play this game, so I was like, you know what? We'll still make we'll still make sure you're you're with us. So one of my pets is uh, a coffin, which is which represents my buddy Fates, <laughs> who's always he's he's always here playing Dragon Quest Ten, just like we played through all of Dragon Quest Nine together. We're playing through Dragon Quest Ten together. Because, <laughs> yeah, if you play Dragon Quest games, you know that when a character dies, they follow you as, like, a little coffin. So that's what that's what he is. So let's make sure we uh, see what we got here. So what they do is they only give you the, the items and abilities that you would have in Dragon Quest 1. 
And then you're level 30, which is the level cap for Dragon Quest 1. But let's go initiate it, and then I'll do a run uh, with actual player characters so I can so I can show you what happens when you actually beat, beat the Dragon Lord. We'll do our best. Maybe we'll beat him, but I think I've only beaten him once with uh, all, all the... Uh, uh, guest characters. So this is, remember when you're in uh, the basement of Charlock Castle right before the Dragon Lord? There's that little bit of like grass and like outside area. Um, some of these monsters here are exclusive to Dragon Quest 1 and this is one of the few places you can like encounter them in Dragon Quest 10. Uh, that's like the, is it called the Hocus Chimera I think? Uh, but if you open your map it's the, it's legit the map from uh, the ba the final floor of the Dragon Lord's castle, with uh, NES tiles and everything, it's beautiful. So we want to stay off of the poison. We don't want to fight these uh, these chimeras. Yeah. Hey, how's it going, Shobu? And here's our good pal, the Dragon Lord. So. Thou art come before me at last, Dookie. I am the Dragon Lord, Master of Masters, King of Kings. So classic Dragon Quest 1, he offers you half of the world. I've never said yes. Does anyone know what happens if you say yes? You still fight him, just a bit different dialogue. Okay. Alright, here we go. Like I said, I'm probably going to get destroyed with the guest characters, but we'll come through again with actual players. I just wanted to show you guys the guest characters. And those evil Drakis that are all around him, you get them as a pet from this event. And there he is in his true form. I kind of wish you you could fight him in his uh, in his classic form first, but it would be even more difficult. So just like in Dragon Quest One, you've got your hurt more, your hurt and hurt hurt more basically, which is Sizz and Sizzle. Uh, you got your mid heal, your snooze. The all oh, this is hard. The only skill you have is defend. Just like you would in Dragon Quest 1. I better MP up. So he's not too bad, and then as soon as his health gets uh gets a little low, he gets real tough. I am going to magic water. Here at Toriyama as well. He's my boy. Hopefully we can beat him. I don't know. It's it's pretty tough with just the uh, the guest characters. I love how like determined Toriyama looks. Get out of range. Ah, oh, Sugiya. Sugiyama got fucked. Okay, now he's gonna start using Inferno, which is like pretty fucking hard. You definitely don't want to get hit by that. There we go. Get out of range. Nice, I think they all actually dodged it. I gotta magic water myself. See, these guys do not magic water each other, and that's why it's pretty tough. And this is the last magic water. As the only player character, I'm the only one who can actually use magic water. And Sizzle's obviously just... Oh, no, I'm going to eat shit here. 
Sizzle's obviously the best way to deal damage. Oh, nice, dude. I didn't even have to heal myself. Your physical attacks are pretty weak. I think one of my cats just dropped a nuke. Oh, no, this Inferno is going to hit. Oh. And he's mad at me. Oh, thanks. Somebody got a heal off, at least. We might actually win this. Oh, man. And then, yeah, because I'm the only player character, I'm the only one who can revive. So this is usually how how it goes when you're playing with the guest characters. But it is pretty close. We are pretty close to beating him. So we might win. Sugiyama ain't doing shit. He's just standing there defending. And then he died anyways. There we go. We actually beat him, man. An overwhelmingly blind light begins to radiate from the Dragon Lord's lifeless body. Obviously, like the orb of light. And then I don't know if that's Tantacle Castle or if that's Charlock Castle. I assume it's Tantacle Castle. And the world knew peace once more. Because. Uh, Princess Gwaylin's here. Thou have done well, Dookie. Thou hast saved Estolthia from the evil clutches of the wicked Dragon Lord. However, the Dragon Lord cannot truly die. He shall return again and again, even more determined to fulfill his ambitions. But I'm not worried, for Estolthia has a champion such as thyself to rely on. Allow me to present thou with a gift in celebration of this momentous victory. Duke, you received seven Dragonlord Fangs. If thou wishest to return home, I can take thee there. What sayest thou? Please let me know when thou wishes to leave. So yeah, this is nice. Um, if you check the map again, it's classic. Um, classic, like, Dragon Quest 1 map. It does say Dragonlord's Castle, so I guess we're outside of Charlock. That just takes you back, and then I'll show you guys where you can uh, cash those Dragonlord Fangs in for some cool shit. Okay, let's take a look here. Oh, uh, where's the guy? There he is. So this guy here, Gutrude. You go in there, and you use the Dragonlord Fangs. To purchase, so I purchased all this stuff already. Um, I wanted to get. I got the evil Draki. I got the Dragonlord staff. Oh right, I was gonna put the Dragonlord staff on my pig. Let's grab the Tentacle Sword. So all the Tentacle stuff is the armor from Dragon Quest One. Erdrich stuff is like legit Erdrich's armor. I'll show you that in a second. Let's grab the Dragonlord stuff. Why not? All right, so let's start with Erdrich Skier. And then of course our little bat. And here we are, all geared up. Uh, let's go somewhere where we can fight. Let's go check out Erdrich's sword and shield. Alright. Looking good. He'll probably die in one hit. <laughs> well, yeah, that's uh, Erdrich's gear. Now we're all geared up, just like we were in that dungeon. For the event. And then let's check out 
The Dragon Lord gear. This is gonna look dumb as shit. <laughs> So that's pretty much all that stuff. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this little showcase of the Dragon Quest 1 event from Dragon Quest 10. And uh, if you did, please remember to like, subscribe, turn notifications to all. I do a ton of Dragon Quest content. Be sure to check out my Dragon Quest 2 versus Final Fantasy 2 video that went up yesterday. And uh, top 10 videos, reviews, podcasts, all that good stuff. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.